Hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here. Sorry again that this is late, you know, just this is morning and and we won't, we won't go into what happened um, um, yesterday at Old Trafford. This is just going to be a quick play rating video, which I should have uploaded yesterday, but not today. Um, so yeah, just get into the play ratings um, for yesterday. Um, David De Gea, I think, gets, um, gets a five. Um, he didn't have to do much, um, but to be honest, when he, he was caught upon... Um, you know, he, I think he could have done better with that second goal. I think he should have done better. And, you know, back then we were, when we're talking about keepers and the thing with David De Gea, it was that, you know, wow, David De Gea, you know, has got us those three points. David De Gea has got us that point. That's what we talk about. Um, the issue um, is, is that um, he's not doing that anymore. Um, you know, I can't remember the last time we could say David De Gea, you know, it shouldn't just be about your keeper, but I think there have been en enough instances in the last couple of games and going back to last season where you could argue David De Gea has cost us points. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, next player is, is Luke Shaw. Um, he went off injured, which is going to mean that Ashley Young is going to come in. Hopefully it's not too serious. Um, that said, I don't really think that he had that best of a game either. Um, I think while I saw on the pitch, they kept on going down his le his uh, his side um, quite a lot. He got he got doubled on, and I think to be fair, both fullbacks got doubled on all the time when pass were counter attacking um, because there wasn't really a lot of support for them. Um, so um, yeah, Luke Shaw. I think Luke Shaw gets a five. Um, Harry Maguire. Um, I think. Uh, Five, um, as well. Um, I think he does need to help Lindelof with that, anticipate that header. It was Lindelof's fault, and we'll come to Lindelof in a second. But I think, you know, he does need to anticipate. You need to be able to also read the game as well. So yes, you just need to rely on your other centre half, but there also needs to be a a reality of the right. Okay. If he makes a mistake, I'm on it, type of thing. Um, and that cost us the first goal. Um, other than that, I don't think he had to do that much, much like David De Gea. Um, he, he, was, he was already solid. So, five. Um, Victor Lindelof, four. He's got to win that header. I'm sorry. He can't be losing to, I think it was a Jordan Ayew. Um, it's not that it's like someone that's massively taller than him. We can't be losing these aerial battles. Um, or at the very least, anticipate earlier. I don't know. Um, but that just over the ball longer, we were literally, you know, dominating the game arguably, um, and just one long ball up, um, and and we lose, you know, or well, we can see the first goal. And as soon as we can see that first goal to Palace, Palace increased it. You know, we needed to to score first. Palace score first, and they just doubled down on defending and time wasting. So that was the first goal basically killed us, because had we. Not conceded, we would have. Palace would have opened up, and that's going to be the same case for all of our teams this season. Wambasaka is next. Um, Wambasaka, uh, Wambasaka, we get to five. Um, I don't think he had his best game today at all. I think this is probably the worst game I've seen him. Um, but you know, I'm not going to be critical on him because one, he's a new signing. Two, he's still he's still young. Three, he's still the best right back that we have. And four. Um, you know, he, well, four, he wasn't getting a lot of support from or help or protection in front of him. And five, he's playing against his old club. I think it might have been a bit too early for him to play against Crystal Palace. You could see maybe there might have been an element of being rattled, etc. So I don't think you can go hard on Wambasaka too much, to be honest. Um, into the midfield now, um, T McTominay. Um, McTominay. McTominay, I don't know, five. Uh, he, he didn't do anything wrong specifically, but I don't know what 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 he's. He didn't do anything. No, I'll re 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 change that four because I don't really know what McTominay did. You know, he he is he is he is he, is he our defensive midfielder? You know, is he is he is he a hold? You know, what is he? What's McTominay's role in this midfield? Because and we're going to Pogba in a second. I thought Pogba was just doing... He was the only midfield player. What was McTominay doing? Was he... 
was he winning the ball? Was he trying to bring the ball up from the defenders? Was he pinging balls to 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 attacking players? Like it just seemed like he just took up space. He didn't do anything wrong, but he didn't do anything. And for me, that is something wrong. He didn't. He it was almost as if like um, he wasn't playing. Um, moving on to Paul Pogba now. I think Paul Pogba for me gets a six. Um, I'll put him actually even six point five. I'm not going to go higher than six point five in this rating, to be honest. Um, I actually think he he would win my man of the match. I know that's controversial to people because our oh, wires, but for start for on a back week of nonsense about penalties and all the rest of it, and Rashford just scored a penalty, missed a penalty, and we'll come to that. But to be honest, Pogba was doing everything in the midfield. He was carrying the ball forward. He was defending. He was he was essentially our only midfield player. We're not playing to Pogba's strengths at all, and I've got no, and I completely understand why Pogba wants to leave. I really, really do. Um, he's not getting a pre- any appreciation from, from, from what he does from the, from the fan base, from the fans at all, um, because he's not because he's not doing everything enough, which is nonsense. Because he should be playing with better players, and he sh- and he's, and he certainly should be playing should be playing as a holding midfielder, at least a central. But not a holding midfield player, which is essentially what was playing was playing too deep, and Solskjaer needs to stop playing Pogba so deep. If bring in Fred, bring in someone else, even if you have to bring, I'm as I say, Matic back, someone else. That's not that's you know, I, yeah, I just maybe you should they should, we should bring in Matic back to do to do that role. To be honest, because I've been saying Matic shouldn't start, but to be honest. Um, you know, we 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 we're running out of options in our midfield. You know, we we, we really do. Um, moving on to this brick, Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard gets a one for me. Um, I ca- I actually can't remember the last time Jesse Lingard may have had a good performance in a Manchester United shirt. It's that bad, and he he keeps on getting picked. Uh, he needs to be dropped. Um, I don't know who comes in. Um, maybe he comes as the impact. You know, play Daniel James because. You know, experience, but Lingard has been bad. Lingard has been bad. Um, his touch is actually is actually becoming worse than Lukaku now. Um, I don't really the preseason was there. I don't think he even had a good preseason to be honest. Um, but his his touch is actually is actually worse than than I don't know whether these guys were out last night. I've, I've got no idea because it, it, it looked like they were. Um, but he's he's twenty seven. He should be in his prime now. And he's arguably one of the worst Manchester United players. Squad player best, bench him. Um, I cannot remember the last time he had a good game. And he was terrible today. Against Wolves, even today, you know, a better touch and then an actual finish and then he, and he, and he scores his goals. We win those games. But... He misread multiple times. He didn't. He has. He didn't assist anybody. He's just running around. This guy needs to be dropped and benched. He's. He's. He's not good enough. Finanti. He's not. And this guy. Others. You could say give time, or we don't have any options or whatever. But with Lingard, this is. This is. This is too. This is too con- consistent now. He just has not had a good game. We really need to replace him, and we're a right winger, an actual right winger in the summer. Like it, like a Nicholas Pepper or something. We didn't, and I blame the board for that. Daniel James, um, I will give a six. Um, he didn't have the best of games either, but the reality is, it is he got the goal that got us back into the game. I know people cussing about the celebration. I know he should carry the ball and stuff like that, but he's only 19, and at the end of the day, this is a guy who's at Old Trafford. He's at his, his dream. Maybe the emotion got to him. He should really carry the ball and get us back in the game. But to be honest, it doesn't matter because he got us the goal. And frankly, Daniel James has more goals um, than Lingard, um, Pogba. He's got the same amount of goals as... Um, no, even... Well, he's got more goals than Marcus Rashford. No, it's on the same. No, Marcus Rashford scored two goals, didn't he? Yeah, uh, yeah. So he scored the same amount of goals as Marcus Rashford. And he's just so basically he's joint joint second top scorer because Marshall scored I think uh, three goals, you know. So 
This is a 19-year-old kid who's got more goals than Lingard, Pogba, and has the same goals as, as, as Rashford. He's just coming to our club. You know, so there we go. You know, it, it just it just sums up everything. Marcus Rashford, Marcus Rashford gets a five for me. Um, I condemn all the abuse that he got on Twitter from some idiot United fans, but I I strongly I condemn more so the media, the media who had made a big deal of this whole penalty issue, all the United legends like Gary Neville and the like, talking, 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 um, putting you know I knew he was going to miss the penalty when I saw him because it was like he. He saw. He probably saw the reports. It was like, right, I'm now the penalty taker, and and beforehand there was no pressure because it was it was between them all, so it wasn't like a different independent could take. It was just like, you know what, you take, you take it. There was no pressure. Now, making the penalty taker, there's pressure on him now, and he's still a kid. He misses the penalty, you know. So. You know, I, 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 and of course, the English press aren't going to dwell on it at, at much at all. Then, then they're not really because you know because the media have been proven yet again that, frankly, a lot of them are are completely foolish. Um, you know, very, very foolish, um, and just incompetent. You know, B, you know, BBC's guy, or just, just all, all football ball pundits, to be honest, are just complete incompetent trolls, to be honest, because. Um, Making a big deal out of nothing for most of the week, obviously, was going to affect Marcus Rashford. No, so I really hope that most of the English press just shut up um, and 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 speak upon someone else than United. Speak on City. Speak on. Speak on someone else. To be honest, but they're not going to because they make money from talking about Manchester United. So there we go. But Marcus Rashford gets a five for me. Um, I don't think he had a good game. And like Lingard, again, I can't remember the last time the Marcus Rashford had. You know, the only thing is that at least he's been scoring goals. You know, he scored goals against Chelsea. He scored, um, so he's been scoring going goals. Lingard has not been doing that. Um, Martial, Martial um, gets a six for me. Um, he actually played all right, but was he getting any service to him? No. Um, you know, was he getting any chances? Lingard was given chances, didn't use them. If Lingard gets, if Martial gets the chances that Lingard got, he scores those goals. Simple as. Um, it, he's he's our, he's our number nine. He has to be our number nine. But you know, um, we need to take opportunity, take our chances, and he's not getting them. So, um, oh, and then manager Oli. Oli gets a four. To be honest, for me, um, Oli gets a four um, because I tactically. From start to finish, we didn't change anything, you know, at all. We 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 just played our our best eleven for the whole game, um, and that was it. Tactically, we did not change anything at all, um, and I don't understand that. Um, I I really don't. Um, Oli has got to learn quick, very very quick. Um, otherwise, he's got this is going to be a Mourinho David Moyes situation all over again. Um, yes, we're we playing better. We've got possession. I wouldn't say that we're playing better. I would say that, like, I would say, like Van Hal before us, we have possession, but we're not putting teams to the sword, and we're lose. We're still losing, like Van Hal, against um, teams that we really should be, be. We really should be beating at home and away. Thanks for listening, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter. We United X. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.